good Monday to you or whatever day it happens to be. But today is kind of a special day. It is August 19th, 2019, and the uh, developer uh, Amplitude Studios release kind of uh, dropped big news today. They are apparently uh, working on essentially a competitor to Civilization VI called Humankind, and this was pretty big news to me. I am a big fan of Civilization and 4K turn-based strategy. I've played uh, Endless Legend a decent amount and enjoyed it. Uh, it's not exactly a uh, replacement for Civilization, but uh, is quite enjoyable. And, uh, you know, if it's Civilization or I'd say SimCity, I am all over it. I've been playing those games since I was a kid. So this announcement that came just today that uh, that they are working on a competitor for Civilization VI uh, is pretty darn exciting. And we don't know a ton about it yet, uh, but the uh, stills that have been released indicate that it is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Um, this is, when I look at the uh, stills from this I, I, and the video that's been released as well, I can't help but think this is kind of how I, you know, envision uh, Civilization VI uh, looking like. So um, the terrain, when it's rugged, it's there's quite a nice relief there, and it sounds like that's going to play a pretty big role um, in the combat mechanics of the game that, of course, do happen in Civ as well, but uh, could definitely be more pronounced and sounds like that's going to be the case uh, in, this, in this new game. Um, one of the things that I've never been all that crazy about with Civilization are, you know, the, the multiple ways um, that you can essentially win the game. You can just uh, kind of conquer everyone, or you can have, um, uh, you can win through economic means or political means, and I don't know, I never really had uh, a plan, you know, all laid out from the very beginning of the game, which route I was going to take. It uh, always seemed kind of bothersome to me, and it's some, something that kind of evolved as I just played the game, and I was like, oh, I could probably win if I go this route or do this, because it looks like um, that's just how this game is is playing out. It looks like with humankind though that um, that maybe all of these different strategies could be essentially brought together and combined into a single strategy, a single metric for how well you are doing relative to the other civilizations as uh, it's called fame. So you know, instead of um, uh, uh, an ec economic component and again a political component um, it sounds like all these things are going to be combined in, into one overall measure it's not that we won't have these individual measures but it sounds like it'll be combined into a single measure uh, which is pretty exciting so you just kind of keep track of your fame and figure out how to increase your fame which I'm sure you know it can be through conquering um, other civilizations, but you know, maybe by being foremost in terms of uh, uh, scientific discoveries or you know, production or whatever it might be, so that's pretty neat as well. It also looks like there's going to be something like 80 different uh, civilizations, or at least the attributes of 80 or so different civilizations that you can essentially combine and reconfigure in, you know, whatever orientation uh, you like. So it sounds like there's going to be a huge amount of customization here, uh, potentially far beyond, you know, even what we see in Civilization VI right now. So I'm just really excited. Uh, it's kind of like if there was a new SimCity game, which, you know, won't happen, but uh, City Skyline stepped in and the day that was announced was a really exciting day and I think today is really exciting for me too because finally it looks like there's going to be some uh, really serious competition for the, the uh, renowned Civilization series that I've been 
a uh, huge fan of since, again, I was basically uh, a kid when, when the first one came out. Uh, and, uh, and, and now there looks like there's going to be some serious competition for it. And I have uh, quite a high expectation given that Amplitude Studios uh, is pretty well known for producing quality products. And if it's anything like Endless Legend, it's going to be a very deep uh, game that is also quite easy to get into. So that's the kind of game I like, you know, a game that you can just kind of sit down and it grabs a hold of you. Um, it doesn't really require a huge amount of micromanagement. That's not really what you want, but does offer that uh, if, uh, if that's what you're into. So um, I'm hoping that we see that in this new game. Uh, again, it looks great. I'm hoping that the landscape plays an even more important role in how your civilization develops and how your civilization interacts with other civilizations than uh, even in, in Civ 5 and, and Civ 6. So we just have to kind of wait and see. It sounds like there's going to be a lot more information released here over the next few days. I know there's going to be some articles coming out um, in various gaming magazines going in more depth. So um, I'm kind of shooting from the cuff. I don't have a whole lot to go off of right now. Uh, I do suggest going to the Steam website, going to the developer's website, and taking a look at some of those screenshots and some of the very early uh, video footage. It sounds like this won't come out for uh, several months. It won't be released until sometime in, in 2020, so we do have to wait a little while. But I mean, I'd much rather have a nice and finished polished game than, than something released that's uh, disappointing. It always seems like not to bash uh, Y2K and so forth uh, too much with Civilization, but it always seems like yeah, it's an incomplete game. Um, and I'm not even talking about DLCs, but it just the the Civilization games they don't seem to work right right out of the box and require quite a bit of patching. So um, no doubt we need some patchwork. Uh, humankind, but um, I'm hoping for a more complete game, and uh, man, it just looks really good. So check it out, uh, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk a little more about this later. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.